Hey guys, it's Bree. Today I'm doing an aerial slash butterfly tutorial. Just a disclaimer, I'm not an actual coach. I'm definitely not your coach, so you should always listen to the people around you, not some girl on the internet. But yeah, let's get started. So as usual, we're going to start with our warm-up. So whatever you need to do to get your heart rate up and your mind and body ready to do these tricks. So I choose to do running in place, jumping jacks, hopping side to side, and then vertical jumps and a little bit of stretching. But you can do whatever you need to do to make your body feel ready. To be able to do an aerial, you need to make sure that you have a very good cartwheel and one-arm cartwheel. When you're working on one-arm cartwheels, you should work on one hand and then try using just the other and try to make your feet come down as fast as you can. Once you have a good one-arm cartwheel, you can try lifting your hand up at the last second. So here's a slow motion of that. So I'm putting my arm closest to me down and hitting a full split before I hit the middle of the air. And then once I hit the middle of the air, I pop my arm up to give myself a little bit of a jump and I bring my fist in front of me. Now try and focus on not putting much weight on your hand. When you're taking off, try to get your upper body almost against your leg, and once it's there, you'll be able to split easier, and splits are super essential because it means that you'll be able to rotate faster and get around quicker. Once you feel comfortable with that, you can try your aerial. So, you're going to psych yourself out and just not put your arm down. Just let it go straight behind you, and you can keep your fists in front of you just so you can save yourself if you don't make it all the way around. Once you're confident with that aerial, you can try putting your arms just straight behind you so it looks a little bit more death-defying because you can't just save yourself by putting your hands down. Now let's move on to butterflies. So you'll see here that my upper body is going to stay parallel with the ground while my legs kick higher than my upper body. That's the difference between aerial and butterfly. Your upper body stays higher on butterfly than it does on aerial, but you still kick the same way, so that's why they're kind of similar. A super key thing for butterfly that people sometimes forget and they wonder if it's like a flying camel spin <laughs> is that your legs are going to kick straight behind you and they're not going to come around like you do when you're starting a flying camel spin. So you see I'm kicking straight behind me and then it comes up and around and the other one follows. So it's a little bit different than a camel spin so that's why I just wanted to clarify that. A good tool to use is a chair because you can hold on to it and really feel what it's like to kick your legs straight behind you. And then it also helps you make it around more if you need help. Once you put all this together, you'll have your butterfly. Hey guys, I hope you liked that video and I hope it helps you on your journey with butterfly and aerial. I'll see you next time. Bye!